Guys, indeed, well done, David Mudoka. Now, technology in this century has come to help and save humanity in so many ways. For example, did you ever think that technology through the use of camera phones would ever help in fighting poaching? Well, in these uncertain times with the COVID-19 pandemic, at its peak across the globe, technology has come to the rescue through the creation of virtual rangers. Here is Ruth Mulandi with that story from Balule Nature Reserve. The animals that roam South Africa's Balule Nature Reserve have a new ally in the battle to keep them safe from poachers. And that is camera phones mounted in protective cases to stream images of the animals' activities to thousands of virtual rangers worldwide. The reserves across Africa cutting back on anti-poaching patrols amid a coronavirus-induced tourism pause that has hit funding. Balule has teamed up with handset manufacturers Samsung and tech pioneer Africam to supplement staff members with eyes and ears online. And now over 55,000 people have become virtual rangers since the conception of the project Wildlife Watch went live in March. March. Located in Limpopo province and home to the big five of rhino, lion, leopard, elephant and buffalo, Balule forms part of South Africa's flagship Kruger National Park. Today, Leitam Kabele and her colleague, who form part of the park's all-female anti-poaching unit known as Black Mambas, are on duty and tell us how technology is helping them keep poachers at bay. We are dealing with poachers that are um, professional people. They've been to the army, they know how to use weapons, and we know nothing about it. And... Uh, People who can walk long distance, come inside the reserve, kill a rhino in five minutes, they're out. So this is a big change to us, but it's a change that we want to bring out to people. Mkabela and her colleagues use the same model of phone for communication to capture images of suspicious activity during patrols, while other handsets have been installed to monitor perimeter fences. Although the project, just like many, has its flaws. It can only be effective if they can use their senses. Because, that's, you know, we don't arm them. We rely on their eyes and their ears and their various other senses. Fortunately, the human being hasn't evolved to be able to see at night and to see things quickly and, and this kind of thing. You know? And it's what I call human bias. So you'll walk past something that you might not have noticed. I can only cover certain sections of the park at certain times of the day or night. I need technology to fill the gaps. A Swiss-based environmental network, International Union for Conservation of Nature, said anti-poaching patrols have been cut in more than half of Africa's protected sites due to the impact of the pandemic, where one in five rangers has been laid off globally since the pandemic began. Meanwhile, job losses and increased poverty has driven a growth in the hunting for bushmeat, putting these animals in the wild at risk. But Bulale, for one, is striking back. Viewers of the park's streaming service have already reported hearing gunshots signaling the possibility of poachers and alerted rangers to trapped animals needing rescue. Ruth Mulandi, TV47.